Four E on holiday. When you are on holiday, you don't go to school, you don't go to work, you may travel for fun, for pleasure. Notice that we say on holiday. We don't say I am in holiday. No, I say I am. I'm on holiday in France, or I'm going to go. On holiday in May, or to France. Now here are pictures of holiday activities. Holiday activities, things that people do when they are on holiday. Now listen and number. I will do that for you. Just repeat after me. Do water sports, not go, not play. It's do. Do water sport like surfing, windsurfing, scuba diving, water skiing. You do these sports. You go on a trip and visit different places. You go sightseeing. Sight, sight, seeing. Go sightseeing. Go and visit landmarks and important places in a city. Notice that there is no ing here. We're using go, and there is no ing. Why? Because trip is not a verb; it's a noun. We don't say tripping. Trip. Sightsee. We say sightseeing. Stay at the hotel. Hotel is like the Hilton or the Sheraton. You stay at the hotel. You don't go anywhere. You remain inside. Buy souvenirs, souvenirs, souvenirs. You buy things that remind you of your holiday. Like if someone's been to a holiday in England, he would buy these souvenirs. Go hiking, go, ing, go hiking, go walking in the mountains or in the countryside. Now, can you name all the holiday activities? If I remove the captions, go sightseeing, go on a trip, you stay at a hotel, you go hiking, you go no, you do, you do water sports, and you buy souvenirs. Listen, listen to Andrew talking to his friend Philip on the phone about his holiday in Sicily. Sicily is an island near Italy. Which of the following does he talk about? Does Andrew talk about the food, the weather? If it was sunny, cloudy, snowy, rainy, does he talk about the people? Water sports, the hotel, or souvenirs. Then choose A or B. Andrew spent the first day. Spent is the past of spent. How did he make the first day pass? By staying at the beach or at the swimming pool at the hotel. At the beach, Andrew went swimming and fishing. Or swimming and sailing. Andrew is going to Palermo to do some. Palermo is the capital of Sicily. To do some shopping or sightseeing. Andrew tried. He ate. He tasted pizza or fish and liked it a lot. Andrew is going to buy Philip. A T-shirt or a cap? What is he getting for Philip? Now listen. Two. Listen. Hello, Philip. Andrew, is that you? Yep. Guess where I am? You're on holiday, right? Yeah, I'm in Sicily at the moment. Wow. What's it like? It's great. We arrived here two days ago. On the first day, we stayed at the hotel all day. It's fantastic, and it's got a big swimming pool. 
I had lots of fun there. What's the sea like? Lovely and warm. Yesterday we went to a fantastic beach. I spent all day swimming. Oh, I went sailing too. Nice one. Today we're going to go sightseeing in Palermo. Then we're going out for dinner. What's the food like? Is it all pasta and pizza? Not really. I love the fish here, and the salads are something else. Do you go fishing? No, that's a bit boring for me. I like spending my time shopping. Tomorrow we're going to go souvenir shopping all day. I hope you're going to get me something. Of course. I saw something yesterday. It's really funny. What is it? A cap? No, I bought you a cap last year. This year I'm getting you a T-shirt. You can see it when I get back. Listen, I must go now. Okay. Have a nice time. Thanks, Philip. Bye. Now, if you need to listen to the recording again, by all means, listen again. Only continue this video if you want to check your answers. Hello, Philip. Andrew, is that you? Yep. Guess where I am. You're on holiday, right? Yeah, I'm in Sicily at the moment. Wow. What's it like? It's great. We arrived here two days ago. On the first day, we stayed at the hotel all day. It's fantastic, and it's got a big swimming pool. I had lots of fun there. What's it like? What's Sicily like? Tell us about it. Describe it. Is it nice? We arrived. We got here. We reached Sicily. It's fantastic. It's great. It's got. It has got a big swimming pool. So he mentioned the hotel. On the first day, we stayed at the hotel all day. And he had a lot of fun at the swimming pool. Swimming pool. What's the sea like? Lovely and warm. Yesterday, we went to a fantastic beach. I spent all day swimming. Oh, I went sailing too. Nice one. Today, we're going to go sightseeing in Palermo. Then we're going out for dinner. What's the food like? Is it all pasta and pizza? Not really. I love the fish here, and the salads are something else. Do you go fishing? No, that's a bit boring for me. I like spending my time shopping. Lovely and warm. Lovely, nice. Warm, not hot, and not cold. A bit boring, a little not fun. A little not interesting. So he mentioned water sports, swimming and sailing. Swimming and sailing. He finds fishing a little bit boring. He didn't do it. And he's going to Palermo to do some sightseeing. Sightseeing in Palermo, the capital of Sicily. And he said that he loved the fish. He mentioned the food. He didn't eat pizza. Tomorrow we're going to go souvenir shopping all day. I hope you're going to get me something. Of course. I saw something yesterday. It's really funny. What is it? A cap? No, I bought you a cap last year. This year I'm getting you a t-shirt. You can see it when I get back. Listen, I must go now. Okay. Have a nice time. Thanks, Philip. Bye. When I get back, when I return home. And he's going to get Philip a t-shirt. He got him a cap last year. This year, he's getting him a t-shirt. And he mentioned souvenir shopping. Souvenirs. 3. Speak and write. Ian wrote this email to his friend Colin. We will read the email, learn from it, and then later we will write our own email to a friend. Read the email, look at the pictures and complete the table. Write yesterday, today or tomorrow. When did this happen? When did Ian go hiking? Yesterday, today or tomorrow? Spend the day on the beach, do water sports, 
buy souvenirs, go sightseeing, taste, eat, Greek food, Greek food, food from Greece, Greece is a country. Hi Colin, greetings from beautiful Greece, greetings means hello from Greece, hi from Greece, Greece is a European country. I'm having the perfect holiday. Everything is going well. Nothing wrong happened so far. Here in Crete. Crete is a Greek island. Greek island. We arrived. We got here. Yesterday. Oh, this is what happened yesterday. Right yesterday. Morning and spend the day on a lovely beach. Lovely. Nice beach. Spend the day on the beach, that's yesterday. We swam, the past of swim, and did water sports. Water sports also yesterday. Until means we continued doing water sports, then stopped when it got dark, when there wasn't much light in the sky. Then we drove, the past of drive, to a taverna, Taverna is a small Greek restaurant in a small village in a very small town and had a lovely meal. I had moussaka. Moussaka is a Greek dish made of ground lamb, eggplants, tomatoes with cheese on top. So he tasted Greek food yesterday. Now here's what's going to happen today. We are going to visit Knossos. Knossos is an ancient ruin, a place in Crete that people visit because it was built thousands of years ago. I can't wait. I love sightseeing. I am also going to buy some souvenirs for my family and you, of course. So today, buy souvenirs and go sightseeing. Go to Knossos. Tomorrow, we're going to go hiking tomorrow. It's going to take us the time we need is about almost five to six hours. It sounds tiring. It seems that we will not have the energy to finish it. It's a long time of walking. But we are going to relax to take some rest on a beach later on. More news, I will tell you more about myself in a week. Ian Imagine, picture it in your head that you are on holiday and your partner, your friend, calls you. Tell him or her all about your holiday. Answer the questions. Where are you? I'm in Paris, France. When did you arrive? Yesterday. How did you get there? By plane. What did you do yesterday? I went sightseeing. I visited the Eiffel Tower. This is the Eiffel Tower. And I tasted some of the French finest cheeses. What about today and tomorrow? What are you going to do? Tomorrow I'm going shopping on Champs-Élysées. Champs-Élysées is a very famous street in Paris. I'm going to buy some gifts and souvenirs. When are you going to get back? We're going to get back in three days. Three days from today. Now look at the email Ian wrote to Colin. Look at the things that happened yesterday. Yesterday he spent, the past of spend, he swam, he did, he got, he drove, he had. We always use the past simple to express things that happened in the past. And look at what's going to happen today and tomorrow. We're using going to. Future going to. He is going to visit, going to buy, going to go going to take, going to relax. Now read 
and say which of the words and phrases in the box refer to the past and which refer to the future. If something happened in 2008, did it happen in the past or will it happen in the future? Past, of course. Soon. Short time from now. That's future. In two days. More news in a week. In a week means within a week from now. In two days, two days from now. That's future. Two days ago. That's past. Yesterday, past. Next week. That's future. Tomorrow, future. Last Friday. The previous Friday. That's past. Now, use the prompts 1 to 5 to make sentences. Make a complete sentence using this. Two weeks ago, that's past. So we say, Omar, what's the past of go? It's went. Omar went hiking two weeks ago. Very easy. Now, this is tomorrow, future. We say, going to do. Cousins and I, cousins and I, we, we are going to do water sports tomorrow. Now, last summer past, we used stayed. Last summer, we stayed at a hotel on an island. Yesterday, use bought, the past of buy. Greg and I bought souvenirs yesterday. Bender is going to visit Dubai soon. Now imagine you are on holiday. Write an email to a friend telling him or her about it. Use the information from activity B. Use the same information. After you finish writing your email, check your writing for punctuation. Punctuation like periods, commas, exclamation marks, question marks, capital letters, like capital K, capital H, capital G, spelling, word order, grammar, and vocabulary. First, go to the workbook, page 129, and complete the plan. Let's go to that page, 129. Now, how are you going to start your email? Use hi, and then the name of the person you're writing to. Hi, Turkey. Greetings from Paris, France. And then use the same information in activity B. Now here is my email. Hi, Turkey. Greetings from Paris, France. We're having a fantastic time. We arrived yesterday afternoon by plane. Soon as we arrived, I went sightseeing and guess what? I visited the Eiffel Tower. I also tasted some of the French finest cheeses. Tomorrow, I'm going shopping on Champs-Élysées. I'm going to buy some gifts and souvenirs. Of course, I'm going to get one for you. We're going to get back in three days. More news in a week. Martasim. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I will leave you now with the workbook exercises. I'll catch you in the next video, inshallah. Goodbye.